Virgo, what's up? Welcome to my channel, Am I Tripping or Not Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So Virgo, I'm here to do your November general slash love reading, my G. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it, so if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I didn't lay cards down just yet, Virgo. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single Virgo. Getting no fit nuts. Info for private readings will be below the video. If you find, oh, well, I'm supposed to say check out the damn community board first, but since I didn't already start it, if you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in town. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love ya. All right, Virgo. What's poppin', my friends? I was kind of excited to do your reading. Uh, I feel good about your reading, Virgo. To be honest with you, buddy. Uh, I feel refreshed. I don't know. Some of y'all go on vacation or going on vacation, spa, massage, pool, jacuzzi. I don't know. I just feel kind of like, mm -hmm. messages for Virgo for November. Oh, maybe because you got rid of a motherfucker. Unrequited love is here. So maybe you just need a break, Virgo. But this is being in a relationship or someone else that they ain't happy in, yo. Okay. A lot of people been getting that, uh, for November. I think Scorpio got that and maybe uh, Aquarius, I think. Uh, Ten of Wands reverse came out. Yeah, I said y'all was leaving this shit. <laughs> Ten of Wands was reverses just letting the burdens go to me in the flashcard deck. But this is also my spirit guide uh, downloads card. So there's someone else in this relation. I don't know if you just have been in it. You can still be in this situation, Virgo, or someone else who's just kind of uh, in denial about them not being happy or that they haven't been happy in this situation for a while. Or this is someone finally just saying, fucking, I'm, I'm over it. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to release this shit, basically. I feel like it's kind of uh, transitioned into the fucking, I'm going to release this shit. But I feel like somebody tried to hang on to something is what they're telling me. Okay. Somebody don't like school neither. Or uh, somebody either doesn't like school, uh, where they ended up moving. Somebody doesn't like where they ended up going here, Virgo. You were someone else, where they ended up. Give me one more for Virgo. Yeah, this is a uh, five of swords. Plan, plot, strategize, and we bomb first. This is also thinking negative, speaking negative about yourself or other people, or this is people doing it to you. Uh, there could be an air sign talking mad ass shit, <laughs> Virgo, for real. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Uh, they just salty because y'all ain't together no more. Or this is you in regards to an air sign. Uh, they just salty because y'all ain't together no more. This Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Like, uh, they need to let that shit go, buddy. I feel like, Virgo, you need to be careful of getting into a relationship or getting into situations, jobs, or whatever, career, school, relationships, homes, where you just kind of jump into it. The impulsive card is not out here, but this tells me that you don't like the shit once you get up in there. Like, I don't know why the fuck I came here. Ten of Wands reversed, like I moved too fast. So you could have dated somebody, y'all moved in qu too quick or some shit like that, or you, I don't know, Virgo. Yeah, spirit of anxiety and fear is here with the tower card, so... Uh, somebody scared that something's gonna blow up in their face, Virgo, here. Oh, wee. Well, I'm gonna tell you like this, Virgo. The, uh, signs I've done so far, November's kind of weird. The hella, uh, the, the no is, uh, accentuated in November. Like, no. Uh, basically, <laughs> it seems like a lot of things come to a head. And not just for you, Virgo, but just what I've been gathering from the energy period, from the collective, G. Like, people had enough scud. Like, I can't do it. Or they're realizing they fucked up. Like, an uh, end, finality. I've been getting the word revelation a lot, so. Revealing, 2020. What on unrequited love? Why is this here for Virgo in uh, November? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody don't want that shit. <laughs> somebody like, it ain't worth it. Uh, it ain't worth it, Miss Lee. Yeah, it's, uh, somebody's like, ain't enough money, opportunities, whatever the fuck somebody's offering you. Somebody's like, it's not worth it. I don't think I can stay here, boss. I don't think I can do it. I feel like somebody's pissed off that an offer is going to be turned down, Virgo. 
this is your energy here. So you are the one in the unrequited love situation. And whether it's a job you don't like, a partner, uh, what they're offering you, something like that. And I feel like you're ready to release this shit, but you know somebody gonna talk shit. Or this is you. Somebody's gonna try to get somebody to stay somewhere. Somebody does stay in a relationship for money or finances or because they need help. This is my mono e mono card. Like I have to help this person, I have to give them something. So somebody has to, somebody wants to move or leave a situation or quit a job or something, but they can't afford to. So they mad every day. Mm. Well, well, well. One on the ten of wands. We, ooh, we okay. I said finality, but in this deck, the tower ain't blown up. In this deck, the lightning keeps striking, but it doesn't hit the tower. But you see all these tarred ass motherfuckers still going into the tower when they see lightning is like, number one, why the fuck they outside walking? Right, when it's a lightning storm and shit. These are not bright people in this tower car here. So, uh, <laughs> I feel like somebody using somebody here, Virgo. It's almost like somebody's just walking into like a tower situation because they need something really bad. It's like, well, I have to take my chances and shit and stay here. I have to stay at this job. I feel like somebody's settling Virgo here. Uh, I got Scorpio out here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and I got your energy here, Virgo, or another earth sign. You could be in a relation with a relationship with another earth sign that uh, y'all just in it for money and neither one of you motherfuckers like each other. Real shit, if you're dealing with another earth sign, y'all just there because of shit, society, uh, rent. <laughs> it just looked like... I just hear boss. I don't know. And shit. If you in a relationship with somebody just because of uh, circumstances right now, uh, Virgo, y'all avoid each other. But y'all both are thinking the same thing and shit about the other person. I don't know, Virgo. It feel a little like settling or something to me. Yeah, look at this. Got the tempers. It's reconciliation with the devil. But it feels like for codependency, though, like... Well, I have to fucking be here, so let me get this motherfucker some punch. It's like the woman talks shit and the man, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Five of Swords. Plan, plot, strategize. Somebody trying to figure out how to get out. I don't know what, what's going on here. Ooh -wee. Mm. Virgo, the chariot came out reverse. It's damn show a cancer talking shit somewhere. Uh, some of y'all are cussing out your car and shit. Fucking piece of shit. All this other shit. Virgo, can I suggest something? Uh, be careful how you talk about your career, your purpose, your money, your job and all that shit. Cause I feel like it's manifesting. It's like you talk shit about it or this is somebody else, Virgo, a relationship, something. Somebody talks shit about something and it manifests, G. They manifest it. So it's like, uh, I'll never get out of this relationship and they don't. I'll never get my career for move forward. And they don't. It's because they keep saying the shit or they don't change the circumstances that they're in. And that's why they keep getting the same results. Uh, somebody going to blow in a minute because <laughs> they're somewhere or doing something they don't want to do or they're not fulfilled in, happy in. And they just kind of rolling with the punches and shit. I do see somebody needing to get some car repairs and y'all are like, what the hell kind of price is this, sir? I don't know if you try to rub up on the mechanic and shit. I don't know. But they telling me it costs a lot of money to fix this damn car. You cussing and shit. I don't know. You got an accident or don't really feel like an accident because the tower did not strike. It feel like car problems, car trouble. Uh, Virgo, be careful just about the things that you are, uh, just the energy that you in. You know, like when you in a bad mood, it seems like everything goes wrong that day. You know, but if you're in a good mood and say, say you're in a bad mood and you lose something and you're like, fuck, this is just a bad day, right? You in a good mood and you lose something, you're like, well, it's just five dollars. You know what I mean? It depends on how you're looking at the day is what they're telling me uh, or how your life, or how you look at your life or your situations and shit like that. I definitely see a cancer talking shit out here. So be careful of that. Or you talking shit about a cancer. There is an air sign talking shit about your uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini out here talking shit or thinking bad about your uh, career moves here, Virgo. Your choices, basically. Let's just say that. Where you choose to go in your life. They feel like you are making a mistake. This air sign. I don't know why the fuck they give a fuck about what you doing and shit because it look like the air sign ain't got shit popping here for them to be opening their yap and shit. Shut the fuck up. Shit, y'all, y'all, bitch. Whoever that is, um, they don't know shit. Oh, wow, Virgo. Okay. 
They told me to use my munchy cheese. Okay. One on unrequited love, Ace of Pentacles. Why is this here for Virgo in November? Yeah, some of y'all looking to uh, how to get out. Some of y'all are saving money up and looking for a new place to live, looking for a new relationship, a new job. Uh, y'all are looking for new shit, Virgo, for sure. So it's telling me wherever you are that you're not happy and you are trying to find a way out uh, of this situation or figure something out. But it's making me feel like you uh, also talk bad about it. Like, or it's like discouraged. You get discouraged. Some of y'all just don't want to work and get a fucking job. Some of y'all just need to fucking go to work. Period. Y'all may not want to. Five of swords here talking shit about it. I don't want to work for all that shit. You want to work in vehicle or no? Or this is somebody else. Somebody needs to get a job, Virgo. <laughs> Period. I feel like somebody doesn't want to unrequited love, but they know they need to, G. In any moment, lightning could strike and shit. You know what I mean? Like, uh, especially if this is this person staying in something for financial reasons just because of circumstances. I don't feel like this person's codependent. Is well, some of them. But whoever this person is, is like they really can do more to get out of a situation. Somebody's just comfortable, G, basically. That's all this, I said settling shit. One on the tower and the 10 of wands reverse. Pleasant letter. Yeah, I said it's only a matter of time for a bill come and the shit, the lights just go out. You know what I'm saying? They on now probably because of the Rona. You know what I'm saying? That's wrong to be uh, cutting lights off when we stuck in the house type shit. It's making me feel like uh, Virgo, watch your bills in November, G. Be careful of living above your means and shit. Some of y'all live in places where, uh, like, are staying in homes and places, apartments and shit like that, where I feel like the bills are piling up, G. You see it. This could be the cause of someone else or because you're in a situation with someone else. Like, they're, like you could be married and somebody's credit shit become your credit shit. Something like this. I feel like uh, someone else's uh, circumstances are affecting someone else, G. Here. Some of y'all are going to get a message that you dodged a fucking bullet. I don't know in regards to what, but that you did. Like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad I was not there. It's almost like you, you know, like uh, when you see a bad accident on the freeway, but you were late that morning, Virgo, and you're like, fuck, that could, I would have straight probably been up in that shit or stuck or something. It's something to this effect here where you're like, hell yeah, I'm so glad I wasn't filling the blank. Chariot reverse. Why is this here with the plan, plot, strategize, and we bomb first? Somebody's a landlord or whatever, apartment man. If you live in like an apartment building, some of y'all gonna get a notice that this person's selling the building. It's just too much responsibility for them. I feel like they give you relocation money, but you really don't wanna move. Uh, and you a little sad about that shit. It's a Pisces and a Cancer talking shit, <laughs> uh, Virgo, for real. They just talk shit about you, period, I feel like. Or they just kind of snobby or look at you funny and shit. And there's an air sign that, uh, I don't know. Now that the moon is out here, an air sign could be holding the secrets to your career or secretly know why you're not moving. I don't know. Or could be having something to do with it. Why you're not moving forward, speaking down on your name. I don't know, Virgo. I don't like it. Some of y'all's intuition is going to be heightened in November to tell you to look elsewhere. Do something different. Yeah. It's something about you switching up something, Virgo. Like, uh, I'm feeling like doing what I got to do. So I got to do what I got to do and break her heart. Unrequited love. I don't want to see her cry. Shit. Don't nobody want to see her cry, damn. Uh, I feel like you got to do what you got to do. It's something in regards to you separating from some situation, Virgo. Some of y'all gonna have like a <clears throat> radiator leak in the car. Ra you need a whole new, is that a, in the car? Is a radiator in a car? I don't know. They said a radiator. So let me know. I don't know shit about cars, but I'm hearing radiator leak. Uh, I just see, I see car trouble. Either that or someone like literally being stuck or set like settling for something, G. One on unrequited love, ace of pentacles, and uh, a change. Why is this here for Virgo in November? 
break a little bitty. Oh shit, it's a raggedy motherfucker. Yeah, I was about to finish singing Ralph, but I couldn't even finish when Bruce flew out. Um, Virgo. This definitely you, dude. Not saying you're the raggedy motherfucker, but I feel like this you trying to get away from one, looking for a way out from this person. Or this somebody feels this way about you, Virgo. Somebody feel like they in a relationship with a raggedy motherfucker, and as soon as they get some money or that opportunity or that new job or that new something, I am going to get the fuck up out of here. I'm getting the fuck out of here. A lot of y'all, this is a job. A lot of y'all, this is a, a straight job. Uh, a nice chunk of y'all, this is a relationship or something, but I don't know. I see you making plans. The blueprint, Virgo. Okay, Booski. Cause I'm like, this don't sound like you just settling and staying in some shit, uh, Virgo. Y'all are my, uh, organized and strat uh, strategized card. The dresser, the his and hers dresser in the flash card deck. The hermit and shit. They know shit. Uh, so yeah, maybe y'all doing shit in secret. The blueprint. Okay, Virgo. Shit. You better pound that shit. Cause I was worried at first, man. One on ten of wands, the tower, and the pleasant letter. So, yeah, let these motherfuckers talk shit. They don't know what the fuck they talking about, whoever this is. But you definitely got some shit talkers around you. Uh, and I feel like they smile in your face, too. But they really don't like you. <laughs> this unrequited love. These people like, yeah, all that bullshit, old raggedy ass. Woo, or this you, Virgo. Mm. Some of y'all going to find out that somebody went back to somebody that's a raggedy motherfucker. Like, uh, you got back with them? Ew. I dodged a fucking bullet. Like, I will never fuck with you now that you done fucked with Helga. Never. It's, uh, some of y'all are going to see someone that uh, went back to someone or they got with someone else. And that person looks so damn disgusting. I feel like you never fuck with this person. You slept with them? Four swords? Hell no. Uh, Virgo, somebody turns you off. Or they will because of, uh, or someone will be turned off because of uh, who they're dealing with now or who they go back to or some shit like that. Or somebody find out somebody just a nasty motherfucker. I don't know. Uh, something weird like that. Ooh. In your defense, Virgo, I just see you trying to get out of something that you don't, that's that shit I don't like. Yeah, you about to turn into Chief Keith with the blueprint. For sure, like, nah, I'm about to make some moves, buddy. One on the, uh, I see y'all planning to leave before the lightning strikes. That's what I keep hearing. Like, before the lightning strikes. Like, maybe you feel something coming, Virgo, or something. Or you know something's coming to an end. Or that you only have so much time. So you better get something to get. It's something like that. They keep saying the blueprint. So some of y'all may be building homes or, I don't know. Or looking for a home or trying to get like a whole plan together so I can't like a, uh, what they call it? Like short term goals, long term goals or some shit like that. But where am I going to be in umpteen amount of years, five years, ten, like the five year plan, ten year plan I'm hearing. Ten of wands reversed with the tower, pleasant letter for Virgo. Why is this here for Virgo? Prince. Everybody been getting this. <laughs> yeah. Where did he live? They're talking about where he lived. Minneapolis, they said. Is it Minneapolis? Minnesota? I don't know. That's what they had said. I don't know nobody in that shit. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong. I heard Minneapolis. So shout out to y'all. Shit, Minnesota. I don't never shout y'all out. I love you. Uh, we got Prince out here. Somebody getting the fuck out of somewhere. I heard little red Corvette, baby, much too fast. Ch -ch. Little red Corvette, Ch -ch. you need to find a love that's gonna last. Yeah, that's why somebody's getting out this relationship. They need to find a love that's gonna last, a job that's gonna last, a home. Uh, so somebody getting the fuck out. Uh, Virgo, it sounds like somebody leaving before the whole shit just fall, G. It's like somebody's on borrowed time or something like that. And I don't mean that in a physical sense, but like we have to be out of this home. They're laying everybody off. Uh, this person is cheating. It's something like a, like I have to get out of here, man. I do. Like on the first thing smoking, little red Corvette, shit. Somebody gonna have to, look, I told y'all about these car problems here. Somebody radiator or transmission gonna, uh, on that Corvette. What year is it, Joe? What year is it, Joe? 
uh, cause something wrong with this Corvette. Something wrong with this car. <laughs> Something's wrong, man. That shit costs a lot of money too to fix. Whoever this is for. Yeah, 1999. Don't you wanna go? And whenever the nines come up, they're showing me 1999. And uh, nines are not good to me whenever they show me all the multiple nines because that's when they start playing bombs over Baghdad. Tower card. Don't pull the thing out unless you came to bang. Bombs over Baghdad. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Virgo like, fuck that bitch. Fuck that, I'm out before they even uh, pull the pin out that bitch. Um, I'm gone, gone. Gone. Yeah. I heard I sense danger or I said something's not solid, uh, Virgo. And I know that's how you get the fuck down. Like, no, my shit got to be together, G. So maybe y'all dealing with people that aren't solid. Maybe y'all are trying to get in businesses with people or open up businesses or relationships with people and something telling you to get the fuck out. Like your blueprint way different, Chief Keith. They keep saying that. Something about the blueprint. Uh, you could be getting a message from a Scorpio Virgo that wants to kind of uh, bury the hatchet, I heard. They want to apologize or something, or you want to apologize to a Scorpio, possibly. They started playing Tevin Campbell. I don't, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Virgo, whatever it is that you want to do or whatever your plan is, man, stick to that shit. Do what the fuck you supposed to be doing. Ooh, they can talk all they want to, but the world still goes around and round. Maybe Prince wrote that shit. I don't know, but that's what I heard. They could talk all they want to, but the world still goes around and round, meaning I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do, you raggedy motherfucker. Oh, yeah, Virgo. I was, I was, I was worried, G. Uh, but that's what this is. They could talk all they want to. Five of swords. Shit, world still go round and round. Bitch, you ain't about to stop. You, I feel like, Virgo, uh, this is the end of you, uh, giving a fuck about <laughs> anybody else when it comes to your, uh, if you ain't already here already, but it's making me feel like something may be agitating you because this tower ain't struck. So maybe something striking a nerve. You may get a message from somebody like, uh, that may try to like, uh, they said egg you on. I don't know. Something about eggs now and radiators. I don't know, Virgo. <laughs> Y'all eating and driving now? Shit. In a Corvette and you speeding, huh, Virgo? Okay. Okay. To the job you don't like. <laughs> okay. Uh, I damn sure didn't never race to get to a job I hated. Shit, I'm just going to be late, bitch. Shit, real shit. Uh... <laughs> I knew a girl that used to rub dirt on her face and shit. Like, she touched her tires and rubbed dirt all on her face and smeared all on her work clothes and shit and come to work whenever she'd be late and she'd tell them she had car problems. That bitch was crazy as fuck. She was crazy on some other shit, too. But uh, they just showed me that. So I don't know if somebody else does that shit, but... Yeah, she used to do that shit all the time. She'd be like, girl, I'm going to be late. I'm just going to rub some tire dirt all on my clothes and tell them I had to change my own tire. And then she got away with that shit. You welcome, Virgo. You welcome. Because, I mean, who would walk in the damn job with dirt smeared all on them on purpose? She would. But uh, it worked. Like I said, you welcome. The blueprint. Five of swords, the chariot reverse, and hope in big water, which is this moon here. Uh, somebody may be fucking with your car, Virgo. If you having issues with an air sign, a Pisces, or a Cancer, and something wrong with your vehicle, you feel like it been tampered with, it has. It was a raggedy motherfucker. One on the Five of Swords, the Chariot, and the Moon. Yeah, I told you. It's Britney fucking Fetterline. It ain't Spears. With, with talking shit and playing plot strategize and we bomb first. Virgo, it's some people, like, trying to literally, like, uh... I'll put it to you this way, Virgo. Excuse me for belching if you heard that. You got enough shit on your plate with situations that you're trying to get in, into, out of, uh, pay bills, moving. I just see all kind of other shit going on. And then I see people trying to like nitpick at you on the side and shit about 
whatever it is that you do while you're trying to handle some shit. It feels like uh, people got a lot of shit to say about how the fuck you do your life and live your life. Fuck them, Virgo. And it's a raggedy motherfucker with uh, Britney Fetterline and Prince. I mean, nothing against uh, Prince or nothing, but I mean, he had probably the short man complex or something. I don't know. That's how they're making me feel. Like, uh, this is somebody who's small. Like, uh, they got to wear heels to even be eye to eye with you type shit. It's like these are the people uh, that don't even fucking matter. What they say? Those that mind don't matter. Those that matter don't mind. Yeah. Virgo, keep doing what you're doing. I feel like you got all this shit uh, going exactly the way that you want to or you will, Virgo. And uh, somebody else trying to dictate or tell you how the fuck you doing it or that's what, all this other shit. Fuck them, man. This shit pissing me off. Anyway, Virgo, that's been your reading. I got to go. Now I'm upset. Okay? Now I'm upset. <sighs> this ain't your reading, none. I know, but I be, it's, <sighs> Virgo, that's been your reading for November. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Virgo getting no fit nuts. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.